Yeah. And so we're seeing these clear skies, kind yep. of a crisper weather. Yeah. Is that what we're looking on uh, for the rest of the week? Yeah, well, for the weekend, yes, but not for the week. We're actually seeing a different trend for the rest of the week. But as far as this weekend goes, we can enjoy the nice crisp, crisp skies and crisp conditions and clear <laughs> skies. There we go. I got Perfect. it out. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and switch over. We have a gorgeous view of what's going on outside of our studios right now. You can see that sun just beaming down, and this is pretty much what we're going to see for the rest of the day. No clouds in the sky, just gorgeous blue skies, just crisp conditions throughout the entire area. Now, our skies are clear throughout eastern Kentucky, so we're not seeing too much in the way of cloud cover, actually none at all, and that's because of this high pressure system that's hanging out over the Tennessee Valley and throughout the day. Today it's going to meander over near the central central Appalachian region and then eventually tomorrow over closer towards the Virginias. But all in all, bottom line, this high pressure is just going to keep us nice and clear, but you can see most of the eastern portion of the United States is just cold this morning. St. Louis starting out in the upper 30s. Over near eastern Kentucky, we're looking at temperatures anywhere from the mid 30s to the upper 20s. So you can see over near Somerset and London, we're still looking at temperatures in the upper 20s, just mainly west of I-75. And then once we get east of I-75, that's where temperatures are just a little bit warmer this morning. 36 for Paintsville and 32 over near Wise. Now, as far as pinpoint Doppler goes, clear and clean. That's what we like to see for our Saturdays. Am I right? We like to see those nice, clear conditions. As far as visibility goes, not too bad. We're not actually seeing any fog out there right now, but I would not be surprised if some of the lower valleys are seeing just a little bit of fog this morning. But as far as all of our sky cams go, just gorgeous views all across the board. Just absolutely beautiful. And today we're looking at these clear skies sticking around all day long so you don't have to say goodbye to the sun anytime soon. Now we are, I'm giving it a yellow light just for some of the fog that's in the lower valleys this morning, but for the most part things are nice and clear and we are going to stay clear this afternoon, but it's going to be cold. We're only topping it out in about the lower 50s. Now throughout the day today, like I said, nothing in the way of sky cover, just blue skies all day long today. Cold conditions though, we're only topping out in the lower 50s and then eventually pretty quickly dropping back down into the 40s and then by tomorrow morning looking at temperatures in the upper 20s yet again. Now as far as your Sunday goes, we're staying nice and clear just like today, very similar day to what we're seeing today. Now we are going to see a little bit of cloud cover build up towards our southern borders, but for the most part, everyone's going to stay clear tomorrow. Now Monday, we're going to see just some more clouds building into the area and a similar situation for Tuesday as well. We're going to see some clouds building in from the west because we have a cold front that's going to start to approach the Commonwealth, which is bringing us rain chances again for midweek. But as far as today goes, no rain chances out there. We're looking at clear skies. Temperatures, again, in the lower 50s for a high today. So we're not warming up too much today. So if you're heading out the door and you're wondering if you should bring a jacket, definitely bring a jacket if these cold temperatures for this morning haven't already convinced you. Now the clear skies are going to stick around for much of tonight, so we're looking at temperatures again dropping down to the upper 20s tomorrow morning. So another cold morning is what we're in store for for tomorrow. Now as far as that seven-day forecast goes, that cold front is expected to move through on Wednesday, bringing us some rain Wednesday afternoon, possibly some thunderstorms throughout the night Wednesday as well. And then Thursday morning we're looking at lingering rain, but then clearing occurs again on Friday. I cannot believe we get all the way back up to the 70s. I know. It's yeah. crazy. I know. See, I told you that warming trend returns. Oh. <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, when we get back, Allison took a very special trip this past week in Versailles, Kentucky.